Hey guys, it's Lindsay Ann, and we are back with another closet essentials video. If you guys don't even know, I have a series on my channel where I do closet essentials for every season, and you already know what season it is. Back to school, baby. Summer has gone by so fast, and we are soon to resume learning about things that we don't really care about, but hopefully we will be in person learning about things we really don't care about. But you already know, we gotta look cute while we learn for things we don't care about, right? That's really the whole purpose of school. It's your own personal runway. And unlike you suckers who still have to go to high school and endure dress codes, I have been liberated from that horrible system in place. I am now a college woman. I have been for a year, but I have been unable to flex my fits at school because of something called COVID. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to being back on campus dressing cute every day, flexing my fits to people who really don't care. So I have compiled 20 things to help you guys get ready for some back to school shopping and just things I think are gonna really help you in terms of picking outfits early in the morning and just essentials for your closet for back to school season. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're gonna be starting off with the basics because the best thing you can do for your closet is just to have a strong foundation of staple pieces that you know can literally match with anything. And I think that thing is white shirts. And white shirts comes in all varieties. You're gonna have a white t-shirt, a white button down, or a white turtleneck. And these three things are honestly what got me throughout high school because they literally go with anything. And when I say anything, I mean anything. This really fits for all seasons, all dress codes. I try to keep in mind of the dress codes that you guys have to endure, hopefully for not too long. In terms of these, I think, for example, the white t-shirt. White t-shirt, I really don't need to talk much about it. It's just something to throw on over a pair of jeans so you're not naked, you know? A white button down, it can really elevate any of your looks, but you know, it can also just act as a cover up to cover some shoulder revealing garments. And lastly, a white turtleneck. It's a great layering piece. It can go under all your sweaters, but if it gets in the winter time, it's also just like a warm top for you to wear. Next up we have collared tops and collar tops are really my go-to throughout high school because I feel like they're just like the perfect middle of it's not too fancy but you try a little bit when you got out of bed that morning. Not only can they just like be worn on its own and it'll be like a really cute outfit already but I love to collect collar tops just for the purpose of layering under my sweaters. I would go to the thrift store and I would collect like all the different colors so I would be able to like match all my different sweaters I had and this was especially like two years ago when collars were really popping you know. I don't know how much they are popping now but I really like to match like a bunch of my collars to my sweatshirts so it would be a cute little accessory. I would literally treat my collars as an accessory that's how fucking actual I was. Next up we have graphic tees and this basically functions the same as like a basic white t-shirt but it's just a little bit elevated. I'm not sure how strict your school dress code was but I wasn't allowed to wear any like logos or pictures that were bigger than the size of a quarter so unfortunately I wouldn't have been able to wear this in high school but hopefully your dress code wasn't like that and you could actually wear um I don't even know what this picture is, but something like this, you know, something full, cool, funky, shows your personality. I was obviously, and still obviously am a control freak, I am a Scorpio. And especially if you're more into like baggy clothing, or if you just want to stay comfortable all the time, graphic t-shirts like this are like the best way to stay really, really comfortable with just like a pair of sweatpants or jeans, but still look really, really cute and, you know, effortlessly cool. You're that girl. We all want to be that girl. I don't know what that girl is, or what she's eating every morning, but we all want to be that girl. Going along with more tops, I think it's really important to have like a statement top. You don't really necessarily need to have like more than one or two in my opinion, but just like something that like, that you put more effort in, something that when you put it on you'll be like excited to wear like, oh, you know, like this isn't my casual everyday effortlessly cool day. This is the day where I'm going to put, put effort into my look. And I feel like those days are really important because for me, dressing up for school was literally like the fast part of house school. It was something to actually keep me awake in the morning, something to get me excited for the next day. 
I don't know if you guys care this much about fashion, but uh, it really got me through some tough times. So if you guys are like me or just really like fashion, I highly recommend getting some tops or anything that just like makes you excited to wear, makes you feel good, you know? And yeah. We of course can't forget sweaters, so I would recommend getting some basic sweaters and some graphic sweaters if your dress code allows that. So basic sweaters you can literally get anywhere, like at the thrift store, on Amazon. I really don't think you should spend like more than $30 for a plain sweater. Gildan, literally your best option right there. But plain sweaters like this are it's just great for like the fall time. And again, you can layer things underneath, like a turtleneck um, or a collared shirt, and you'll look really, really cute put together. Moving on, I think cardigans are also a really good essential for your wardrobe because they look more mature, you know. Like some days, if you just don't want to look like a 16-year-old teenager who doesn't have her life together at all and put on this persona of the rich aunt who runs a successful business or married rich hence rich you put on a cardigan and you embody that persona i really like really bright really colorful pattern things because it just makes you stand out okay of course you're going to need a cute dress and i always got two types of dresses the first is my like statement dress my like first day of school dress i swear i wore this dress to the first day of school i think two or three times in high school and that's a lot considering there's only four first day of schools but I don't know it's just like you gotta find a dress that you know will look really really cute on you but that's not gonna like break the dress code on the first day and have you get pulled into detention looking back at this dress it just brings me back so many good memories because first day of school was so exciting for me I feel like at that time of the summer you're just so bored at least I was like out of my mind just at home by myself it was only just like fucking quarantine and by that time i was just so excited to see everyone to see all my friends again and i want to look all cute oh i remember i think it was like junior year or senior year i vlogged the first day of school i woke up so early got my hair all curled you know i i was vlogging getting all ready good days honestly good good times but hopefully you guys are excited for first day of school too and if you guys are the dress type of person high stress get, get a cute dress wear something that makes you feel a little bit fancier a little bit cooler the second type of dress is a layering dress like this type of dress you probably already have from the summertime it's going to be showing your sexy sexy shoulders and so revealing like you're basically a whore in this dress according to your school's dress code but the point is just any of your leftover summer dresses that don't really fit the dress code, you can make it as layering dresses. I think especially in the winter time, like layering a long sleeve turtleneck under this would be really, really cute. Or even in the fall, just layering like a white t-shirt. Now let's talk about jeans. Because honestly, I feel like jeans are like the only pair of pants that you need in high school. They're essential. They are essential for everyone's closet, in my opinion. My school, I couldn't wear blue denim. I'm just sharing so many trauma stories about my dress code from my high school, but we couldn't wear any jeans. We had specific jean days where we were allowed to wear jeans or there were some specific days where we could pay money to wear jeans. Why did I go there? But if you guys can wear blue jeans, you guys definitely should. It's basically a neutral color at this point and there's really not much I need to explain about jeans. Just make sure that they fit well, they're comfortable. You know, you don't want to be like uh, sucking in your stomach all day because of your high-waisted jeans you bought a size too small. So just make sure they're comfortable. I suggest getting maybe getting like a variety of jeans. You can get high-waisted jeans, flare jeans, low-waisted jeans if you're feeling extra frisky that day. But in terms of color, I think that you definitely just get the three basic colors, blue, white, and black. That's really all you need. Leather pants were the best investment I have ever made. Leather pants, I think, are an absolute essential for high school. They are like the ultimate dress up pants. Like they make, like I just, I can't describe the feeling. You guys just need to experience yourself. The feeling of wearing leather pants to school. You feel like such a boss bitch. Like you feel like an absolute model among 
peasants among hooligans you know like nobody else in the world has style except for you when you're wearing leather pants this is just this type of arrogance that you can't experience <laughs> until you wear them but i honestly think that leather pants are great for those days that you just want to dress up feel a little bit fancy you know i think they're a perfect way to spice up any outfit like pair this with just like an oversized graphic tee you look like kendall jenner moving on next up we have pattern pants and pattern pants are just those days that you're feeling extra funky you want to spice up your outfit without trying hard at all and pattern pants does the job but you got to make sure that you got pattern pants that fit you well <sighs> Because if you don't, you, you're kind of just going to look like a clown. So it's a bit of a dangerous territory there, again. So let's talk about skirts. I rarely wore skirts in high school, except on Wednesdays. We had something called dress days where we had to wear skirts, even though it was literally like negative 10 degrees in Michigan. But I think the three types of skirts that you need are first, a pleated skirt. This is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, a pleated skirt is just, it's just a cute type of skirt gives me schoolgirl vibes again. Next up we have just, you know, your everyday plain skirt. I think you should definitely just at least have one skirt in your closet that you, that's like a bit more formal, that's for like business settings I guess, or like any interviews that you have to do, or like concerts that you have to go to recitals, something that, you know, won't make parents call you a whore. Um, I don't know, that's the best way for me to put it, I guess. But just something that is length appropriate. Make sure that it past your fingertips. And lastly, we have the fun pattern skirts just for you to wear on the everyday. You know, if you're feeling a little bit girly, a little bit, a little bit more skirty that day, um, you know, just some cute patterns for you to just throw on. Let's talk outerwear. So I am a strong believer that leather jackets will carry you throughout high school. I have quite the leather jacket collection here, but obviously this is a bit excessive. You don't need to be doing this to yourself or your wallet. Um, but I just think that honestly, one leather jacket is perfect for the fall season. I remember every school year I would go to like off like Nordstrom Rack and pick out my winter jacket of the season and that was just always an exciting time for me it's kind of like back to school season when you're picking out your new shoes for that year i took a lot of pride in picking out my jackets um but when i was like 12 i would just pick out like the ugly pink puffer jackets but you know my style has elevated since i was 12. so leather jackets now my go-to you look older than you are which is of course the only thing you want to do when you're 16 years old and you just look put together but on the days that you want to look more like you know more you just like don't give a shit about what you are wearing anymore and a zip up will just do the trick it keeps you comfy you know you gotta always have these options to fall back on on just those days that you just really really don't want to think about what you're wearing um those days for me were finals um before my chem tests for my math test. So let's talk about shoes. And obviously your go-to shoe is gonna be your sneaker. And your sneaker can come in all different size, shapes, colors. But my go-to sneaker was always Converse or just my white New Balances. And I think that like, you can obviously get something colorful like this, it would be fine. But just getting something more neutral, like white, black, gray, tan, just any of those like type of sneakers that are comfortable for you to walk in, maybe still look a little bit cute. Just like get you through the school year and it will be like your base foundation shoe that goes with everything. And next up, I think having loafers are really, really nice as well. Loafers or docks like these makes an outfit more fancy, makes an outfit more, um, more corporate business world. But obviously, I don't know anyone in the business world that would wear these, you know. But, you know, you can try. And lastly, we have boots. Now, obviously, you don't need to get like booties like this that are so like extravagant. You can just get booties that are like, like you know, like the short black booties that are perfect for fall. Maybe have like a little bit of a heel, an inch or two to give you height, feel, make you feel like a working woman. 
And like boots were like the first of heel that I wore. I really like wearing them. I like feeling tall and bougie. No one can touch me. And obviously I think having just like a few pieces of jewelry is always like really nice to wear throughout the year. Like the outfit is more complete with it on. So maybe investing in a few pieces in the beginning of the year would be a good option for you. So that is all of the closet essentials that I have today. But the biggest point that I really just want to reiterate is that you shouldn't be scared of what other people think of your outfits or of what you wear in high school or in middle school because at the end of the day it really doesn't matter and what matters is if this is a time for you to gain confidence to figure out your personal style to maybe experiment with different things and it shouldn't be a time for you letting other people judge you it should just really be a time for you feeling confident for yourself and dressing for yourself and I'm a very very strong believer in that because I personally think by dressing how I wanted to in high school like it really kind of changed my life and if you guys want I can do a whole video on like confidence fashion in high school and style and finding your style I would love to sit down have a little chat with you guys about that but I really hope that you guys enjoy this video, found some of my tips helpful. I'll try to link everything that I can in the description box below. But if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out a lot. And subscribe if you guys haven't already. But I hope that you guys had an amazing day. Stay safe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.